Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. If you found this tutorial helpful, please thumb up and also click on the subscribe on the right side in the lower corner. I really appreciate it. In this lecture, we are going to learn about this flame sensor that detects flame. Actually, element, elements of infrared in the flame will cause this to be uh, triggered and turn something on or off. We're going to see how the flame can trigger this on and off. To explain the module, we have a flame sensor here. This is actually, this is an infrared sensor, which can be triggered also with uh, TV remote control. And then we have an op amp here that amplifies the signal. The sensitivity of this is uh, adjusted using this 10 kilo ohm potentiometer 104. This is a multi-turn potentiometer and you, when you rotate it, make sure to rotate it multiple times and when it reaches to one end, it makes, it makes click. Let me show you. That click is from this. And the same way, when you turn it counterclockwise, again, you will see clicks. And then we have here diode, that is the digital out will be connected to pin two. This plus is connected to VCC or five volts. This G is ground will be connected to the ground. A zero, that is analog out. And that is not of our concern because the application that we are using it is to detect the flame. So this is not used. On this module, we have two LEDs. This is the power LED. When you connect it to five volts, it will turn on. And this LED is supposed to be turned on when a uh, flame is detected, but they made it such that this is the opposite. It will be turned on all the time. When the flame comes, it turns off. This is a defect in the design, but this is how this module is offered. In case if you got this blue module, which is the same exact module as the red one, except the potentiometer is different and there is no cut, but exact components have been used. This is the flame sensor and this is the op amp LM393. That's a potentiometer that you adjust the sensitivity. The three pin here, DO, ground and VCC. This will be connected to ground, VCC will be connected to five volts and DO will be connected Let me explain the code for the flame sensor. We define pin two as a flame in pin. This is a pin that is coming from data out or DO of the flame sensor to this pin, pin two. And we define another pin, pin eight for buzzer or for relay. I called it relay here. And the on time and off times or the amount of time that in on time when a signal is detected, a flame is detected, you want to wait for this many millisecond or second that you want. The off time is where every time it goes and checks, it waits for this amount of time before it goes to the next uh, checking. Inside the setup, this code will run only once. And then we initialize the serial monitor with 9600 baud. This is to print the information on the serial monitor, which you can open it from here. And then using pin mode, we define the flame in pin as input so we can read the data and then we define relay pin as an output so we can send signal to this pin which is pin 8 to turn on a buzzer or LED or relay whatever you want in our case I'm using a buzzer which buzzes and then we print this text for our own information on the serial monitor inside the loop this code here will be repeated continuously first we use digital read and we check the flame end pin which is pin 2 and the result is this value and we compare it to see if it is high and using these two equal sign that's for comparison purpose if that is true which means if high is detected 
and the flame have been detected then we take action and of these three line the first line will print this fire fire on the screen the second one using digital right relay pen high we send high signal to pen 8 so the buzzer buzzes or maybe you can control a relay which we have explained how to use the relay before and then we wait for this much time on time which have been defined above every time a fire is detected for example you can you can wait you can you can make the program to wait for one second and continuously buzz or reduce it it's up to you if this is not true which means a flame is not detected we go to else and we take these three line action and you can change it accordingly and here also you can change it you can do something else but in our case we just use digital right relay pin low so the buzzer which was high now we are turning it off so it can go off otherwise otherwise it will stay on for as long as the Arduino has power and then we print this text on the screen peace and then we wait for this much time which have been defined above like 200 milliseconds or less or more and because this is loop the code will continuously execute this is the wiring diagram for the red flame sensor module at the right we have do data out or digital out this pin has been connected using a purple wire to pin 2 the middle pin has been labeled as plus or vcc this has been connected using white wire to 5 volts and the gray wire from ground have been connected to the ground in case if you uh, purchased this blue module which work exactly the same and has a potentiometer as well the wiring will be a little different VCC is on the other side the first one it has been connected to 5 volts ground is at the middle have been connected to the ground and DO or digital out or data out is on the left side using a purple wire have been connected to pin 2 and here the actual wiring on the module D or digital out have been connected to pin 2 using this purple wire the middle wire is plus have been labeled as plus or VCC using white wire have been connected to 5 volts the third pin from this side have been connected using a gray wire to the ground the last pin A0 have not been used for the buzzer I've connected pin 8 to a point and this pin is connected to ground of Arduino and my buzzer is this green is pin 8 this is ground my buzzer is 5 volts and the long pin is the positive which have been connected on this side to the green wire this is the demonstration of the flame sensor the, the code that I've shown you now is printing piece when nothing happens and here is the my lighter I will turn it on as you can see it shows fire fire on this screen and also the buzzer is turning on you can control a, a, a relay that can control a motor or something on or you can send a text take picture whatever you want the action is up to you uh, the most important part is to be able to detect the flame when a flame happens it triggers uh, this is now facing my window I brought the curtains down but still there are small spots left and I'm going to show you that this can be triggered using those infrared that is coming from the window Uh, now I went clockwise fully uh, now the light from the window is now triggering this if I put my hand here it blocks it and it doesn't affect so keep in mind that this can work in an area that there is no sunlight or elements of infrared from outside otherwise this will not work and in order to eliminate all those extra uh, signal or whatever that is coming from outside we can just adjust it using this potentiometer now
So if you go clockwise fully, you will make it more sensitive. Counterclockwise, now I have to go counterclockwise to make it less sensitive. Keep in mind that this is a multi-turn potentiometer and you need to rotate it like um, five, six, eight turn before you see some changes. Now, this is now ignoring anything that is coming from window and if I use the flames, it will work. And in your application, in case if you are dealing with a huge flame, Again, you can reduce the sensitivity, so this will not be able to trigger it. As you can see now, it's not being triggered, so either this has to be huge. As you can see now, this is not this is barely triggering it, but it has to be huge in order for this to work. So you can determine uh, what distance it works and how big the flame should be using this potentiometer. This was how to use this uh, flame sensor with uh, Arduino. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here. Thank you. Thank you for watching tutorial from Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.